and welcome at another video about the Korg PA5X. In this video we are going to take a look at how to create your own styles. And normally this is a rather difficult process when you have to create a style from scratch. But in this case we have a keyboard full of all kind of uh, elements that we can combine to create our own uh, new styles. And that's a really easy process to do. And for this video we are going to create a ballad style with a more modern touch on it, some more modern drums and some funky elements to it so that we can create a rather unique style. So first we are going to select the style which we are going to use uh, and modify with our own ideas. And so let's select a standard ballad style. And we are going to the factory set and the ballad section and well, Let's use the 16-beat ballad style for this. That's a rather generic uh, style, so we can add all those kind of elements to it. So let's try it. So a nice style and we want to use the drums and the bass line from this style. So we are going to mute the other elements because we only want to use the bass and the drums from this element. We have now two players so we can experiment with what kind of styles work good together. So let's load up a different style in uh, player 2 and we are going to add some funky elements to it. So let's look in the funk category. And let's use something like, let's see, slow funk. So if we play that one. Yeah, that has some nice elements to it. Not every element is uh, something I like, but we can copy certain elements out of this one. So that's really nice. So let's try it uh, together. So we are we know that the first style is 84 BPM. So set the second one also to 84 so that we can put them in sync. Um, and we disabled every element from that 16 beat ballad because we only want to use the drums and bass. So let's uh, mute the drums and bass from the slow funk. And I like to try it on variation three. So press the variation three button for the first one and the second one and set the fader now in the middle. Now, if we are going to play it now by holding shift and pressing the play button, they are running in sync now. And what we basically hear now is that 16 bit ballad with the slow funk elements on top of it. So we can check this way if it's a good style to combine. Well, I like it, but I don't like the uh, EP and I also don't like the flute. So I only want to have the ACC2, ACC4 and ACC5. So, so now we know that and we can create a new style based on those uh, two styles by combining them. And that's really easy to do. You put the X-Fader to the left so that the player one is uh, active again and you press the Rec Edit button. Then you see an option that's called style edit and we want to edit this style because we want to copy elements of other ones and replace the existing ones. So press that style edit button and now you are in the style editor. And if you press the menu button you will see there isn't a lot of uh, options for this. But there is another menu button over here and if you click that one then you can well modify a lot in that specific style. And um, because we are want to copy elements of this, that can be done in this style edit tile. So select that style edit tile, and you see now that we are in the section style copy. Now, and then it's really easy to do. We select the slow funk uh, style, so and press the exit left at the left, and we are going to say what we are going to copy. Well, I want to copy the ACC2 to the ACC2 location in this one, this, so from the slow funk on the, the top, uh, top line to the uh, current line and we want to copy everything 
not you can you can also copy one variation or a break or a fail, but we want to copy everything. So we copy everything from the slow funk to the current 16-bit ballad um, for the ACC2. We press the execute and we say, hey, the whole track will be copied. Yes, that's what we want. We also do that for ACC4 because we just checked that, execute. And we also do that for ACC5, execute. Okay, so now have we, we have now copied the elements and if you press the play button, you will hear the new style with the copied elements. And you hear that all the copied elements that you can't hear them and that's because those are all still muted. So unmute them. So now we have that uh, copied elements of 2, 4 and 5, but we still have the ACC1 and ACC3 uh, that we need to replace. And we are going to copy that one from the funk ballad. We can find that on page 6 in the ballad section, funk ballad. Okay, press the exit and now we are going to say we are going to copy ACC1 for everything, execute. And we are also going to copy ACC3 for everything. So, and now basically we have style ready. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and we are going to save it. Save the style. Give it a new name. Well, um, let's say something like uh, modern. Demo, ballads, and let's add it to the uh, well, to my own uh, section so I can remove it later. Um, exit and press save. So if we press exit now, we can say hey, exiting now, and it's your uh, unsaved changes will be lost. Yes. And now we have that new style over here. It's now active and we can play uh, our songs with it. Yeah, so we have now uh, that uh, style. It's already really good, but I don't like that uh, sound on uh, ACC1. I like the pattern uh, because it's directly there. But I want to have a pad sound uh, over there, so let's change that. We press the Grand Time option and we go to the synth pad and change that to a Solaris pad, for instance. And now it will, it will be a pad sound. Let's lower the, maybe listen to it. And set it a little bit louder. Yeah, that's okay. So we press save style again. And because we are only changing the sounds, you don't have to go to uh, the style edit mode. But I also hear that the uh, bass line and the analog kit are something that I want to have a little bit more uh, funky to, uh, funk to it. Uh, I think the, especially the bass line is a little bit too simple for that. I want to have a more modern funky bass line. So let's uh, edit that also. Press the direct edit button, style edit. We do it the same way as we just did. Menu and style edit again. Select something that you really like, and I like the Remember Funk um, style really much in the uh, in the factory settings. So we are going to use that one, and we are going to replace the baseline of that for everything. So press Execute, and we are going to also replace the percussion elements of everything, and we save the style again. 
And you see, I do it much quicker now because you know the process now and you can do this really, really fast. So it's really easy to create your own ideas in uh, styles. Press exit again. And now basically we are uh, finished. So let's play a song. Um, something like this. Yes, a saxophone. Go to variation. It's a little bit more uh, busy. The new the, the new bass line is there. And, uh, percussion elements. Uh, still that basic uh, drum set from the 60 beat ballads. And that's the way to do it. So now you have a very nice new style created in, within minutes. Uh, and you can use all the elements that you like and combine them any way you want and create your new styles with your new ideas. And of course you can do, uh, you can change everything like the mixer settings and the inserts, the effects, uh, it's all possible. Really easy to do. Uh, I showed that in the Modify Styles tutorial. Um, but that's basically how it's done. That's the way uh, to do it. And you can also create uh, your own uh, freestyles from it. Um, let's give a quick example of that. For instance, we have here uh, something like the 80 synth FS uh, one, and we want to use all the elements of this, but this one has, doesn't have really drums uh, in it. Only some effects. you think hey I want to uh, add a uh, drum to it press the rec edit button style edit press the menu button style edit select uh, one of the pop sounds for instance um, that's 16 beat pop say we want to copy the drums for our everything execute it and if you check it out now we have the drums added to that freestyle and you've created a new style with all that uh, synth elements. It's that easy. So this concludes the tutorial. Have fun with uh, creating your own styles and combining all those elements that you have. And that way you can create hundreds of new styles yourself. Well, that's it for now and uh, see you in the next tutorial.